Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We got a seat to pick up and I got a lot of updates, a lot to tell you. I have to show you this. Now look at the temperature. 49 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at this dude in the Mustang. <laughs> Guess when you gotta get it there, you gotta get it there. Damn! 49 degrees. He's driving around the top down, man. I got the heated seats on, the heated steering wheel on. <laughs> Oh man, no way dude, no way. There she is. Let's take a look. Ah, so it's definitely a bit brighter than what is originally there. It's kind of faded, but that's the material. Ah, I'm glad to have her back. And I had all the padding fixed down here because every time I sat in the seat, I felt like I was hitting the damn metal bars underneath. So seat is fixed, good to go. Let's go get her in the car. So to replace the side material right here, which you can see matches perfect to the original back here, they replaced this piping that was cut in half, and then they sewed in this material. So you can see there's the stripes are more prevalent right there. You can probably see, you know, it's a little bit more color. The silver is definitely cleaner. This looks dirtier. Maybe if I can do a better job cleaning that somehow, it'll bring some of that out. You can you can see the. Uh, the blue there but it's it's definitely the right material so if you stand back it's, it's a shade off but it, I mean it's better than driving around with a big gaping gash in the seat so let me go map this camera and we'll talk about a few things oh gotta have it man the weather has gotten so cold Woo. I don't know how all the subscribers up in Canada and uh, Russia, I don't know how y'all deal with this cold, man. Uh, I'm definitely not a cold weather person, but <laughs> anyhow, man, check it out. Ooh, the seat feels absolutely amazing. Uh, not only does it look better, I got rid of that big rip. The padding on the bottom was severely worn out. I figure after 90,000 miles of people sitting in it, it was pretty worn. When you sat here, you could kind of feel like a metal bar pushing into the bottom of your leg, and it was kind of hurt a little bit, so good job we got all that taken care of so this is actually take two I actually shot all of this info well I didn't know about the seat until now but um, I shot a bunch of info when I was driving the cruise because I know everybody wants to see car content and they like to see driving motions but there was so much road noise that came through it was horrible so I decided to go ahead and reshoot everything here at the house my big DLSR, the ADD with the Rode mic, does a lot better job of hearing things. So uh, I got a lot of Russian subscribers now, and I'm doing translations, uh, closed captions in Russian. So this makes my life a whole lot easier because when there's a lot of background noise, uh, Google doesn't exactly understand what I say. Because uh, basically when you post a video, Google creates a transcript of what you said. And uh, I basically have to go through there and fix all the bad English words, things that it just totally didn't understand what I said. So I have to fix that. And then it will auto-translate uh, it to Russian for me. So I apologize to my Russian subscribers. Uh, I know it's not the best system. I know sometimes stuff doesn't make sense, but it's Google, and uh, we're doing the best that we can with it. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, let's get on to the cars. Uh, Camaro, um, I was looking at intake manifolds in that, and I had to figure out if I had a big base distributor or a small base. So I ended up having to take this cover off. It goes on the back of the intake manifold, and it covers the distributor. 
And you can see here there's one, two, three screw holes. And guess what? There's two screws, man. I am so sick of this. I am glad that the car has been pretty much unmolested. There's not like a whole lot wrong with it, but I swear to God, the garage that this guy took it to must have been called the, the like lost nut and bolt friggin' garage because I've never seen somebody lose so much crap in my life. So they lost the bolt on the intake, the plastic piece down where the fog lights are, the black piece with the Chevy bow tie. There was like two screws missing out of that. There were some screws missing out of the radio, what holds the radio in, and then there's a big plastic screw here in the back that's missing. Dude, I don't know how you, how you can lose so much stuff. So, ah man, that's my little rant on the Camaro. Before I get into all the goodies coming, I want to touch, give you, touch base with you on the headlights. I kind of got like a slight issue. Uh, they're not fitting. These uh, little hats, they're actually removable on these LEDs, which is kind of nice because then you can adjust how far the LED goes in and you can get like a really nice pattern that way. But one, the center piece here that has an O-ring here, it's too wide. It doesn't fit. So obviously if there's an O-ring, it needs to be a nice tight fit to keep dirt and stuff out of the headlight housing. So the center piece is too big. And then these three tabs here, do not line up at all they will not go in I took a picture and sent it to them and they're working on it that's all I can tell you about that right now I really don't want to do the giveaway until I have like my own set up and working so I can show everybody but uh, as far as I know you know we'll still do the giveaway they promised me that so uh, hopefully this doesn't get derailed if I can't get these headlights in the car so I'll keep you posted on that so oh man excited got some parts on the way for the Camaro I'm sorry I didn't post a video on Wednesday I've been uh, I've just been busy trying to pick out parts you would think or at least I thought hey it's just a small block it's a 350 Chevy been around forever this is before the LS engines it'd be easy throw a set of heads on and all that stuff but no man there's ooh, there's a lot to it you know you got different chamber uh, cylinder head chambers different uh, flow ports that go through so you know you got from like 160 180 200 to you know all the way up these the, the flow rates you have different valve sizes so I've had to do a lot of research as to what works well with this car so it's it's been just mind-boggling the stuff that I've had to like learn about all this stuff to figure out what will work well with what I got because I basically want my cylinder heads to have like a smaller chamber to boost my compression up a little bit. And uh, I need them to flow good. I need them to work with a uh, type of intake manifold system that I'm looking for the car. I need them to, I just need, all the parts need to work together. You can actually, like I saw a guy at Camaro Fest had a Camaro like mine pull up to the line. Big cam. Things rumbling, grumbling everywhere. And the thing ran 13 something and a quarter mile. I'm like, congratulations, you screwed your car up. You put too big of a cam in there. It doesn't work with fuel injection, whatever the problem is. And it's horrible. Your car didn't perform. This car stock would have ran 12.2, 12.5. You know, I had a best time stock with this thing of 12.2. Uh, I haven't run it with the uh, supercharger on it yet. I've done the eighth mile. I have videos on that. But So it's important you get the stuff to match if you're being carbureted fuel injected uh, what kind of you know bottom end you know it's like this car stocks like eight and a half or nine to one I'm trying to bring that up to about nine and a half maybe ten whatever I can get out of the cylinder head so like I said all these parts have to mesh and I've just been on the computer on the computer just all day long and same thing with exhaust systems you know three inch four inch uh, some companies have like a weird dual system and that what should I go with so I finally just I finally made up my mind I think I made some pretty wise decisions based on like cost and effectiveness as to what I want the car to do it's just gonna be like a street strip car I just want it to perform well on the street be reliable de be dependable and just have some extra power so if something more modern comes along I can put up a fair fight with the car if that kind of makes sense so I have an exhaust system, a full cap back on the way. I have a Y pipe and a set of headers coming in. They should be here Friday, and hopefully, maybe this weekend I can start or whatever. The wife does has some travel plans for the weekend; she wants to get away for a little bit. But the exhaust is coming. 
two. The springs are on the way. Should be here. So far, tracking says about Tuesday. So that should be here. Um, I also have new shocks, struts, bearing mount, uh, bearing, strut mounts on the way. Two for the front. May as well, if I'm going to take a lot apart, may as well go and replace those strut bearings uh, in the name of safety and make sure, you know, the car's kind of older. So it's going to replace the all that suspension stuff. At least the shocks, struts, in the bearing, you kind of feel the car's a little bit bouncy. Shocks are probably pretty worn. Makes sense. You know, it's over 20 years old. So we're going to go ahead and do all that while we're doing the springs. So those parts, I think, will be here Friday or Saturday as well. So, man, I've got a lot of stuff going on. The, uh, the guy giving me the cylinder heads and the intake manifold. Communications with him are kind of slow, but um, he's one man producing some products. So I'm... I have no real problem with that. I'm not ready to get into that that part of the engine, but um, I told him I wanted the parts. Just asked him how we're going to go about getting them shipped over. I bet once I hear from, him, I do need to find out about what what like rocker arms I should use, like what length, 1.5 or 1.6. I definitely want to do a roller tip. I need to find out how long maybe the push rods need to be, and also recommended head gasket thickness because like said I want to kind of boost that compression ratio up and thickness of a head gasket can, can make a difference too as well so there's a lot of stuff that goes on with this and then uh, I already have a camshaft selected but I, I haven't ordered it yet because I want to find out about the rocker arms and push rods so just kind of order that at one time to kind of get that free shipping thrown in there and then other than that I think we'll be good I'm gonna run the factory injectors for now they're 22 pounds for the factory they're good from, I believe everybody in the forum said about 375, maybe up to 400, which should be about where I'm peaking out at. When I actually get uh, the guy to, to burn a new chip for a tune and we do some data logging, we'll be able to find out if the injectors are running short or not from that, and then I'll have to look at some injectors after that. But these injectors might actually just hold up to what we're, what we're putting down. So uh, running it, I'm gonna run the car on a Dyna 1 right now as it sits go ahead and get a good baseline for what she's putting down. I'm probably going to do another dyno when I get the exhaust system, kind of see what the exhaust system picked up for the car, and then three when we get the heads, cam, intake, and all that on, we'll do another dyno, and we'll figure out what the whole package has done for the car. So lots of good stuff coming on. Sorry stuff's been kind of slow. A lot of stuff, like I said, in the background. I don't have money for multiple cars and multiple projects. It's a problem with your small channel, but thank you everyone for helping me grow and boost this thing up. The bigger it gets, the more revenue I get from YouTube and the more we can put into the cars and projects and stuff like that. So like, share, subscribe, and let's help boost it. I think that's about all I got for the updates right now. So let me get my rear end inside where it's warm and we'll see you in the next scene. Alrighty, one, the video is really long. I was going to add a few more things, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it off because it's getting extremely long. It's a beautiful sunny day out today, so I'm going to be pulling the 50 out put the seat back into the 91 tomorrow I have an appointment to go do a dyno tune so we're gonna get some baseline numbers on this car my shocks struts uh, whole exhaust system will be arriving today I got confirmation that they're out for delivery so make sure you subscribe like share comment let's help grow this channel and you're gonna want to see the unboxing of all the components and you're going to want to see what kind of baseline numbers this car is going to do before we do any modifications to see exactly what we gain from all this stuff, man. Exciting times. Uh, we definitely got some work going on in the camera. I'm excited, man. I cannot wait to have all these parts together, fire this thing up, and hear that cam just purring through all these parts. Oh, yeah. So, man, you don't want to miss it. Like I said, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.